What's good, T Gang? It's your boy Taf. You're here back at it again with another reaction video. If you like my videos, please help support my channel by subscribing to it. And also, if you want to hit me up, hit me up on my social media account, which will be in the description down below. If you want me to react to any of your videos, put it in the comment section down below. Other than that, let's get it, man. Peace. Facts First presents 10 Kids Playgrounds That Are Totally Inappropriate. Number one, the human centipede. This piece of playground equipment is just disturbing. There's a dog, an alligator, and two what humans, and the they're all connected through the this? mouth and the butt what with kind of metal playground poles. Is this for kids? Whether a child's riding on one of the creatures or walking on the poles, it just isn't right. It's too dirty for a child to look at, let alone play with. Whoever created this playground ride clearly had some serious issues. Number two, beheaded monkeys. Whoever designed this playground seems to have something against monkeys. Monkey. Children love monkeys, but rather than putting monkeys in the playground, they beheaded them and made them part of the playground design. Because nobody takes care of the playground, it makes the monkeys look even creepier, if that was even possible. They appear to be watching the children as they play in the weirdest way that you could imagine. Number three, leapfrog gone wrong it's difficult to tell what this playground designer was hoping to accomplish but this just isn't right each one of the kids is bent wow. over in front of another and another child standing up in the front it makes you wonder why he looks so happy most adults can guess this. why the child bending down it's at the end looks like he's mind. trying to keep his pants up or trying to pull them back up when after they were down this? There isn't a parent in the world who would think that it's appropriate to let their child play on this. Wouldn't even let my Number four, near their play fork breast. <laughs> Typically, pigs are cute. They're the main character in the Three Little Pigs, and kids love them. Got the, the pig, pig on this piece of playground seesaw? equipment, though, is completely inappropriate. His robe is open, and he has boobs. Mm. Uh, that's just not normal. <laughs> If the designer really wanted the pig to have boobs, well, they could have at least closed up the robe. The pig appears to be welcoming children to his lair of fun. Parents should probably think twice about letting their children enter. There's nothing rated G about this playground equipment at all. Number five, witch in the sand. Playgrounds are supposed to be fun creepy, for children. Like, They're not yeah. supposed to be a subject of the child's nightmares. This piece of playground equipment is enough to give children watch, nightmares all watches. the way through adulthood. Creepy witch. It's a giant witch coming oh, out of the sand, it. holding a poor girl captive, and you children are encouraged to climb on this. Like Why would a child even want to climb on this? There is nothing about this piece of playground equipment that is cute or fun. Number six, dead mouse. Most parents who are trying to catch a mouse in their home don't allow their child to see it when it finally does get caught in the trap. It can be disturbing. For some reason, somebody thought it would be a great what? idea to create a giant sculpture of a mouse caught in a trap and put it in a playground. Fun to look the mouse's or even neck to play seems with. to be broken what and he's gasping for air. Kid's gonna get a if there was a good idea behind this sculpture, it's not obvious at the first glance. The person playing on the mouse seems to be enjoying it, though. This just ups the creepy factor even more, though, I think. Number seven, open wide. The person who designed this piece of playground equipment was going for a snake, but it actually looks like something out of a child's nightmare. It yeah, doesn't look very like welcoming. Wrong. And who knows what's actually going on inside? It'd take a very brave child to go inside, and they might have nightmares if they ever come out. Oh, no. Number eight, colorful kids. Many playgrounds have statues of cute kids playing. It makes the area look fun and whimsical. The statues in this playground missed the mark completely. First, they're unnatural. They have wow. unrealistic colors. Second, they're naked. Third, the poles what that the children can climb on look as though each child is peeing a single stream. They're even holding the base of the poles as if they're holding themselves to pee. It is just so strange. It makes you wonder how warped the person was who created this. There is nothing cute, fun, or whimsical about these statues. What they just they make the entire the playground time? a creepy place to visit. Number nine, the birthing cave. There is nothing normal about this piece of playground equipment. 
It is a large statue of a woman with her legs open. Children can climb the legs and enter her womb. It's really not clear what the designers of this piece of playground equipment were thinking when what they made it. Human being but it's definitely not appropriate for children. Number 10, the vagina slide. Of the 10 kids' playgrounds that are totally inappropriate, this one is by far the worst. Kids love going down tunnel slides. The darkness and the mystery when they're in the tunnel add to the fun. This slide, however, takes wow. the tunnel fun to a whole new Only disturbing level. It looks as though a child through. is coming out of a woman's vagina. There's a little girl on the, the slide in the photo. It makes there. you wonder what her parents were thinking when they let her go down this vulgar, inappropriate slide. It also makes you wonder what the designers were thinking. What person would think it's all right to create well, a slide think that replicates a vagina. a vagina? You'd think. Subscribe for more. Mouth. All right, guys. Look like that's the end of that video. Hopefully, see you in the next video. Peace.